We were going out on a nine-man patrol out into the jungle. This enemy soldier was off to the left of me. He fired a rocket, or an RPG rocket, I guess it was. And it came through and blew up and hit me. And I was going through the, laying on the ground. I could feel my thumb go in a big hole there with blood was coming out of my mouth. And I guess I laid there about 40 minutes, 35 or 40 minutes, with three machine guns had opened up on us and had us pinned down pretty good. So I knew that I wasn't coming home. And I worried a lot about my mother at the time, how she was going to take this, because I knew that uh, it's a pretty bad incident. My mother actually was going to shoot me in the leg that morning I went to go to Vietnam. Because she did said she would, I woke up and she said she would rather have me crippled than come home in a box. And I promised my mother that I would come home. I, I actually enjoyed boot camp. I was a pretty good athlete anyway. Um, we were color company. Uh, we led the whole battalion uh, for my graduation year of uh, 1961. Um, we had numerous flags. And... Uh, after I graduated from boot camp, which was a great experience for me, they told me I was going to core school. I was an x-ray tech, um, the only tech in our group that went into Indian country. I, was, uh, I went to ANWA, which was uh, 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines, 1st Marine Division, uh, which was not very far from the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Um, the reason I say it was dark because I had a tough time adjusting to uh, Vietnam. Retrospectively, I would uh, attribute it to separation anxiety. Well, I would wake up at night uh, and I'd find myself crying. Well, this didn't sit very well with my uh, fellow corpsmen and stuff like that. And one of the fellows uh, that slept next to me, he, uh, I guess, as I say retrospectively, he felt that I was somewhat of a coward or something. But that was none whatsoever. I had missed my family. And I really didn't think that I would uh, see them again ever, uh, being in a war zone. But uh, he decided to uh, attack me. Uh, we got in several fights and several fights with other corpsmen, and the battalion chief uh, decided that uh, the thing for me to do was to build me a hooch outside. So I built me a bunker outside. Uh, I stayed in there for, uh, separate from the rest of the guys in the, 